morning guys so I'm about to go downstairs to have some breakfast um, I slept in a little bit today because I went to sleep last night at around 2 um, because I was editing the vlog and, and then I just fell asleep I was so so tired had a very long day I did my skincare already um, and uh, yeah I'm gonna go down to have some breakfast then I'm gonna come back shower really quickly, pack everything and check out of the hotel and then uh, actually you might remember um, when we went to Cannes there was a group of three Latvian girls and there were three of us Lithuanians so one of the Latvian girls is actually from I think all of them are from Riga and she she saw that I'm in Riga over Instagram and she invited me to her family cafe it's, it's a breakfast cafe where they, I think they focus on ice cream, something like that, I'm not too sure. The name in English means bourgeois breakfast, so, and it's just one kilometer away, I just literally have to walk down the street and um, it's there, so I want to go there to have some ice cream maybe after my breakfast, it should be a nice day, I don't know, it kind of looks overcast. So that's what I'm having for breakfast, omelet. Granola, coffee, and chocolate ice cream. And some water, of course. This actually isn't ice cream, it's some sort of chocolate dessert. So I had my breakfast, had a shower, now I'm gonna do my makeup. And uh, I'm gonna use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I used last night and I really liked it. Gives a very beautiful like skin-like satiny finish to your skin. And then I'm gonna try the new mascara, what was it called? Like. Um, black ecstasy the packaging is so gorgeous so I'm gonna show you the result once my makeup is done and I'm actually really glad that Justina chose such a good color match for me uh, I mean it's maybe like half a shade darker than my skin tone but I just take it on my neck and it just looks perfect. It's such a beautiful foundation and um, Armani is all about good skin. All of the Armani based products are meant to give you that perfect, uh, healthy, good looking skin. And this foundation is pretty undetectable. It looks so natural, but it just beautifies your skin. And now let's try the new um, Armani mascara. So you'll see my first impression. It could be a bit more separating because right now it doesn't look like I have too many lashes. So the lengthening effect is good. I feel like if you layer it too much, it can look a bit spidery. So here you go guys, that's what my mascara looks like. I like it but I'm not blown away. And now finishing touches for my lipstick, I'm gonna use my Lady Rose from Rosie for Autograph collection. And I'm blending it in with my finger. Because then it kind of looks like my own lip color. And for perfume I'm gonna wear my new Armani C fragrance, just a couple of spritzes, I like it a lot. So guys, I'm ready to go, I have to check out in about 10 minutes, so I think I'm gonna enter a couple of females, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. As I said, the weather looks very grey and gloomy. I'm loving my ring stack, so these gold skinny bands are from Goriana, like this one in the middle with tiny little crystals. Is just from a random shop uh, in Paris and then the one on top this like teardrop sparkly ring is from Sissim these two are from Goriana and I just think I don't know I love stacking rings I'm a ring person and then here are the rest of my rings um, this one and um, the ring finger one are from Monica Vinader my favorite designer and then the pinky one is from Astrid and Miu my bangle, as always, is Sissim, and then my Daniel Wellington classy Sheffield watch. So I'm walking down this beautiful street. Oh, Europa Royale Hotel. 
front of me. And it seems like this bourgeois breakfast place of Una is really close. So it's like at the end of the street, I'll have to turn a bit. Yeah, the architecture in Riga is just so, so beautiful. Look at the little lion on top. Gorgeous. I'm wearing the same outfit just because it's comfy. Look at that, such a beautiful place called Villa Amor. But I'm just browsing on this street. Ooh, I'm in Jala Goff's Green Cow place. It's like a healthy organic shop. Oh my god, so much tea. So much goodness here. Mmm, multi-grain pasta, buckwheat pasta. Oh my god, that should be amazing. It's quite expensive though. Okay, so here is Berga Bazaars. Like a little alley or passage. And here I see homemade ice cream. This is Una's place. It's so cute. Yeah, it's okay. So here's the. Uh, our friends, uh, it's one family and uh, they are making ice cream, but mm -hmm. they are so small family that they can't afford uh, such an amount of ice cream to sell everywhere in the end. Yeah. We get lucky and uh, we get uh, ice cream to sell every day. So we are unique in all the uh, uh, mm -hmm. city uh, to have them ice cream and uh, people that know that and people know. They make ice cream, it is uh, how big love it is. And, yeah. Uh, uh, and you will try. <laughs> Great. Try Homemade ice cream. Yeah, this is for the sentiment uh, people, just vanilla and, and uh, chocolate. The chocolate. And then we have uh, uh, with uh, grillage, it's oh, uh, yeah. oats, oats. It's mm -hmm. oats with sugar and then with ice cream. Okay. This is with coffee. Yeah, for coffee lovers. This is caramel. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, strawberry sorbet. Yeah. This is very fine uh, blueberry sorbet. Oh. Uh, here we have with raisins. Raisins. Here we have with uh, peppermint. Oh, nice. And here we have uh, um, buttermilk, uh, which is buttermilk with lemon. So mm. It's very refreshing. Okay. Yeah. So, so now you I will choose. try. Two. Two balls in the, in the cup. Okay, so try blueberry yes. sorbet and caramel. And caramel. Yeah, okay. thank you. Here you are. Mm, it's delicious. <laughs> Very, very uh, important. Important part. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thanks. Ice cream. Yum. Looks delicious. So the homemade ice cream was so delicious at Una's place. Her staff is just amazing. Everyone is so friendly. It's like the loveliest people ever. And her. I don't know if it's her boyfriend or husband or something. He gave me an address to another place I should go to. So it's Galeria Istaba and um, like I think in this gallery or next to it there is this place shop Idil. Idile. Supposedly it's like Latvian food, like really delicious, like you know, unique things you can buy. Oh, I found this place, Galeria Istaba. I found it! Idyllia! Oh my god, looks like it's full of really nice products. Also, it's called dill in English. Do any of you guys remember these? Back to childhood. I came to get my ear pierced very spontaneously. So. Here will be the piercing. I'm gonna film the process so you can see. It's 
very spontaneously at Vadim Tattoo Studio and um, I wanted to do it for the longest time, for years actually um, and Riga is full of tattoo and piercing studios so I just thought well I'm just gonna do it now and uh, it was the loveliest guy ever I have to say it didn't hurt um, it was just and it doesn't hurt right now also it just feels a bit warm and tight like something is clinging to my ear and it feels like having one of those um, clip-on earrings on. So if you want to get your ears pierced or get a tattoo, I recommend this studio. Um, I just know, he's so lovely. Go to this guy. And I didn't even look at the needle. I'm, I'm not fond of needles, so I think I'll be scared to look back at the footage. And uh, yeah, I feel like Latvian people are even nicer than Lithuanian people. Sorry, Lithuanians, but Latvians are just so like lovely, kind, smiley, just amazing people. I have to move to Riga. <laughs> he also wrote down what I have to do to take care of the earring. I, I can take it out after three weeks. He used the platinum earring, didn't have a gold one. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it for longer because I wasn't very lucky with my previous piercings. I had to take them out because my body rejected them. I have 30 minutes before I leave, so I'm quickly going to meet Olga and then back to my hotel to pick up my luggage and to my bus. Hi guys, so I know I stopped vlogging at some point in Riga. Anyway, I made it to Klaipeda, edited yesterday's vlog on the way, wrote July's article for Panela and watched one episode, actually the last episode of season one of Da Vinci's Demons, a very productive uh, bus journey and uh, I'm going home now. So guys, I'm back home as you can tell. I basically found this textile shop that had so much lace, like the most intricate beautiful lace and just like lace with embellishments, with embroidery, like I was, I felt like Charlie in Chocolate Factory and I was like, like looking at all of the lace and hand picking my favorite ones and oh my god, I got this bag full of um, new lace and it's really special because it's like I've only seen it in that shop nowhere else and I handpicked everything I will be able to make about five to six chokers of each style so guys if you will want to get those chokers I urge you to do it really quickly because as I said it's gonna be like a very limited amount of chokers but it, it's so beautiful, I cannot wait to show it to you guys. And I'm gonna show you what I got in Latvia. So I got just a bottle of water and I just love this water, it's so pretty. The bottle, I mean, not the water. They have Pukati in all of the health shops in Riga, which sadly we don't have Pukati in uh, Klaipeda and their tea selection is ridiculous. Like, when you are standing next to a puka stand, you don't even know what to buy. You want to buy everything. So, I got this womankind tea. It says, delicate dance of organic cranberry, rose and sweet vanilla. Um, I was also interested in their love tea and vanilla chai. But yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like rose. You know, cranberry and sweet vanilla is hopefully gonna compensate for the rose, which I might not like. And I've always wanted to try their nighttime tea. So this one says a dreaming blend of organic oat flour, lavender and lime flour. So I'm gonna try it out. And then from this uh, idyll shop, I got this original dark chocolate. 
so it has 72% of cocoa and it's fair trade Belgian chocolate and then from the same shop they had like um, Latvian handmade I guess um, like bath products and they had those like little crystals like bath salts uh, and peppermint rose and all kinds of ones but I saw this one and this is powder so I cannot read Latvian but I think it's milk powder with coconuts yeah the guy said it's basically it smells like coconut so I just couldn't say no then I'm gonna show you some novelties so first off Lancome I have um, this is their energy the V pearly lotion I have a really tiny bottle of this so this is a full size um, lotion I actually haven't tried it yet this is the only product of the three that I haven't tried yet this is something I'm really excited about I cannot wait to try it it's uh, from their summer collection and Olga loves this product so she really wanted me to try it it's called Belle de Temps it's a liquid glow trio and the color is glow vanille this is what it looks like look at it it's such a beautiful bottle so basically you have this like golden shimmer and you shake it up to mix the product and then you can apply it on your face as a base for makeup for giving uh, radiance to your face and I guess you can use it on your body as well so it's just a liquid glow like Lancome is into their like liquid moisturizer so this is like liquid glow cannot wait to try it then I have their new um, Grandiose Extreme Mascara I actually have never tried the first like original Grandiose Mascara and they have just released the extreme version of it so it has a matte bottle to me Grandiose uh, packaging is the most beautiful mascara packaging like I don't know any other mascara bottle that looks as beautiful to me I just love this little rose inside I think it's so unique and reminds me of Beauty and the Beast and it's one of my favorite Disney movies ever so oh, I'm looking forward to trying it out and then they also released a grandiose liner which I um, saw in the shop and I was like playing around with it and I'm so excited to try it look at this insanely beautiful packaging again like how incredible does that look at it I like that it has this like little mechanism so you can make your eyeliner application as comfortable for you as you want and Olga said that it's a really long lasting eyeliner and it's just like a piece of art seriously and now from Urban Decay I'm gonna show you some novelties so guys I will have tons of new makeup to play around with I'm sure you'll get to see my favorite products and my favorites so I have their afterglow 8 hour powder highlighter in the color fireball <laughs> reminds me of the song fireball okay let's have a look mm, that's my kind of color it's like a peach pink highlighter <gasps> so beautiful I'm gonna try it tomorrow it's very nice and compact let's see what's inside Ooh. so yeah this is from their summer collection the highlighter I believe oh this is their naked skin one and done hybrid complexion perfector in medium Ooh, medium can be a bit dark and this is what it looks like because it's medium and as I said might be dark for me so I'll have to use my fake tanner before and then oh it's their beach bronzer in the color bronzed so let me open the bronzer for you <gasps> I think it's matte is it gorgeous yay so thank you Olga for all of my new makeup cannot wait to play around with those beauties I have to go have um, some food with my family and their friends are over so yeah need to spend some time with peeps hope you enjoyed this vlog and talk to you soon bye